My name is Marlene DaCosta and I am an exercise physiologist at Home Base, a partnership of the Red Sox Foundation and Mass General Hospital. Today, the exercise I will be demonstrating is called the push-up plank. This core training exercise engages the entire body to create tension and work the deep abdominal musculature that helps to stabilize the spine. To start, Get into position on your hands and knees with your hands directly under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Extend your legs behind you so that you are supporting yourself on hands and feet in the push-up position. Feet can be shoulder width apart or close together. Once you have established this position, keep your core tight and maintain a level back. Do not allow your back to arch or hips to sag. Keep shoulders over your hands, legs straight with your toes curled under, and your head in line with your spine. Maintain a normal breathing pattern throughout. Complete three 10 second holds to start. Gradually increase your hold time until you can complete three 30 second holds. To do a modified version of the push-up plank, you will perform the exercise with bent knees. Once you are in this position, keep your core tight, feet on the ground, head neutral, and maintain a level back. Do not allow your hips to rise or your low back to arch. To execute the forearm version, lower your body to your elbows and extend your legs behind you so that you are supporting yourself on your elbows and feet. Your elbows should be directly under your shoulders and bent to 90 degrees. Once you have established this position, keep your core tight and maintain a level back. Do not allow your back to arch or hips to sag. Keep shoulders over your elbows, legs straight with your toes curled under, and your head in line with your spine. Complete three 10 second holds to start. Gradually increase your hold time until you can complete three 30 second holds. To do a modified version of the forearm plank, you will perform the exercise with bent knees. To start, get into position on your hands and knees. Lower your upper body down to your elbows and extend your legs behind you so your elbows and knees are at a similar level. Again, your elbows should be directly under your shoulders and bent to 90 degrees. Once you are in this position, keep your core tight, feet on the ground, head neutral, and maintain a level back. Do not allow your hips to rise or your low back to arch. Thank you for joining us. If you have questions about our health and wellness program, please reach out to us at homebase.org.